You've signed a business owner and you now have a rental on your website. But before you can go off and celebrate, there's some fundamental changes that you will need to make on your site. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you a simple and highly effective process that you can follow to update all of the contact information site-wide in just a couple of clicks. Now this process can be used to update any particular text string or information that is site-wide or that you reference several times. It's a really effective process. Now, as you can see here, I've loaded up Emergency Electrician Oxted. For those of you who haven't watched any of my videos before, this is my public case study, and I use this site to showcase exactly what I'm doing in my business, everything from site architecture, through to the kind of pages that I build, through to how I create my landing pages, display information, uh, and things like that. Now, the reason why I'm creating this video is a member of my community has just secured a rental on their site, and they wanted to know how I would personally go about getting all of this information updated really, really quickly, rather than having to go through all of the landing pages, uh, service pages, all things like that. So, I'm just gonna share with you the kind of things that you're going to need to update. Firstly, and it goes without saying, any phone numbers. So this could be a CTA button at the top of the page, for instance. It could be any kind of numbers that are within the text. So I've just scrolled down halfway here just to show you an example of that. Now, another key area where it could be is the footer, of course. Now, this depends on how you structure your site. If you follow any of my videos or creating sites like this, chances are you're gonna have these kind of elements in these certain positions. So as an example, I've got um, some structured schema here and I've got obviously an email address, I've got a phone number here. There's also, um, yeah, just the address of the, of the company as well. But you'll notice that, you know, if I was to open up one of these actually, give, give you an example. So these are one of the other location pages that I've built for the site. Let's just go Big and Hill as an example. When it loads. You'll see again, we've got a CTA button at the top and we've got this number. So what I'm gonna be showing you in this video is how I can update this number. If every page has this number four, five times and I've got 20 pages, it can take a lot of time to update. So this process is really handy. As I say, you can use this for loads of other different processes as well. So what I would do is I'd go into plugins in your back end, and the, the plugin we're looking for is called Better Search Replace. Now there's various other plugins that offer a similar functionality, but this is the one that I find to be most effective and easy to use, and you're not kind of sold on their premium uh, plan. So it's by WP Engine, Look, we've got lots of positive reviews, it's frequently updated, and there's over a million active installations. So you know, it's not some dodgy plugin, so I just wanted to kind of call that out as well. So I've activated it. Now you'll notice from the plugin page that um, you can't actually access the plugin from here, whereas you can obviously on others. So what you need to do is you then need to go to tools and then you need to go to better search replace. So on the left hand side, the panel tools, better search replace. Now what you need to do here is you need to find the particular uh, element that you want to update. So in the context of this video, let me just do a duplicate. I'm just gonna, I probably should have taken this down. I'm actually gonna copy it. I want to do the number, okay? So I'm gonna control C there. Now search for, so again, what I mean by you can use this for anything uh, or any particular text string is let's just say you have this on every single header or every single page. You could theoretically, you know, put that in here. It just needs to be a consistent text string or number or something like that. Okay, so I'm gonna do the number for the purpose of this video. So what I'm gonna be doing now is I'm gonna be doing replace with one, two, three, four, five, just as an example, okay? Just to show you this in action. Now, what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be selecting all of these tables. Now, the way that this plugin works is it updates your database, your underlying database. So just bear that in mind, but we can do what's called a dry run, which I'm gonna be showing you now, which basically it will show you how many times it will be replaced and you can see if it's effectively finding the text string or whatever you're kind of searching for um, before you kind of roll it out on your site. Now, one thing you may want to do is take a backup of your site. A lot of hosts do that, so I'm with WPX and they do it by default multiple times. So, you know, if there is an issue, you can always revert back. But if you don't have that as part of your hosting plan, then that is maybe something that you want to consider. So 
You need to have a quick review of the additional settings. So searches are case sensitive by default. We don't need that on. Replace GUIDs. If, le if left unchecked, all database columns titled will be skipped. Okay, that's, that's not an issue here for me, but you can always look into that if you wanted to. So running as a dry one, we want that checked because we, this is a test at this particular uh, stage. I want to see if the, the plugin is able to find the information. So run, search, replace. Now I've selected all of the tables in the database. I, in all honesty, I'm not sure which one uh, this is gonna be held in. It might even just be in posts, but I just select the whole database. Uh, cause it just, it's easier. And for this particular use case, it's fine. So dry run, 27 tables were searched, 98 cells were found that need to be updated. Okay, so it's found this number across the site. So what you now need to do at this point is take off runners dry, dry run and press run search replace. Now bear in mind, it will hard code over. So the minute I press this button, this number is completely gone from my, my uh, site. Uh, and it will be replaced with this new text string, or one, two, three, four, five. Now, remember, you can always revert it by doing the same in reverse. So once we've done this, I can I can show you how, how that would work. So let me just, um, I'm actually gonna do this for now, just so I've got the number to hand. We're actually gonna do this straight after, so we can get the number back. So let's just quickly open up. So we've got this here. We've This is to show you that it, it works. Obviously, we've got this button here. 01883, we've got this number here and this number here. And you know what? Let's just do one more. Let's go back to Biggin Hill just so we can see if it's rolled out across all the pages. Okay, so back to this. Search for replace with one, two, three, four, five. We don't want to run as a dry run, run, search, replace. So now we just need to wait for this to go through. It takes 30 seconds or so. If I was a guessing man, I would say 30 seconds. It's less than that, it's about 20. During the search replace, 27 tables were searched with 98 cells changed and 98 updates. That's, as, that's the number of times I had that number on my site. So, moment of truth. Let us now refresh this. One, two, three, four, five. And the beauty of it as well, this is why this is so effective. Look in the bottom left, that's a hyperlink okay which if you press this button it goes through onto your phone it's updated it there as well okay so how effective is that one two three four five again bottom left where is my hand oh, i can't even get the angle right where is it it's really hard in reverse what i'm trying to say is this bit here <laughs> i'll take my mouse off bottom left of the screen but you see what i mean here one two three four five so that's fantastic is it in the footer one, two, three, four, five. It's gone straight into the structured um, schema markup, I should say. Perfect. Refresh, one, two, three, four, five. So there you go. That is essentially how I go about adding, or sorry, I should say updating, or adding a business owner's number or updating the number on my site. And also, as I, you can do this with everything. So you can do this with maybe the address of the uh, company that you're adding. It could also be the email address, as an example. So you can use this process for anything you need to update at scale. It's incredibly effective. I suggest you give it a go. If you make a mistake, you can always revert with a process in reverse. So again, tools, better search replace, put the number in, one, two, three, four, five in this instance, replace with the existing number. We don't want it to be a dry run because we know it works. So now it is just a matter of waiting for this to go through and our site will be reverted to where it was before. So let me just wait for this to go through. Nearly there and done. Back to the top and Bob is your uncle, whoever Bob is. So I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback, drop them down below. Over to you, best of luck, and I hope you have an excellent day.